and I am back for part six of the pomegranates. Now I'm very, very excited for this part because it's already the weekend. It's currently Saturday, so the last time that I filmed an episode, it was Friday night and it was the previous Friday before the Saturday, which is the day before now, if that makes any sense. And I just found out that Pilar got a promotion. So that popped up, I think a couple of seconds ago, but it just disappeared. But she's just been promoted to pastry chef, so level seven, I think she was level six before? Yes, she was, well, she must have been. So she got a promotion, which was fantastic. And she got a pay rise of, I think it was a 50 simoleons an hour and she got a pay bonus of 933 simoleons, which I remember, because that's the important bit. I mean, when you start to go up in the pecking order, that's when you really do start to get thousands of simoleons per promotion, which is amazing. But I think that what I'm gonna do is eventually, I am gonna move them out of this house, and I think maybe when she's at level eight, or maybe nine of her career. I think I will change the house that they live in because I think that I'd like them to have a little bit more space inside and I think it's just quite nice for a change sometimes. But all the girls have woken up. They were just asleep a minute ago so I just fast forwarded time a lot before I started recording because I thought, you know, it's probably best if they just sleep it out and then at least we can have a fun packed day in the morning, which is what I'm hoping for. Because I have actually built a new venue for Jane to visit today, so I'm hoping that she can invite some of her friends out. Maybe she can invite Jessica, because they're really close now. They're, well, I want them to become good friends in this part, or best friends even. And I want her to invite Joel, Courtney, Tasman, maybe Miles, actually. Toby, Braxton, Tommy, of course. Might be a little bit awkward, but... I think she'd want to make up with him more than anything because they didn't get off to a fantastic end in the last part. In fact, it ended rather horribly, didn't it? It was horrid. I mean, he pretty much just rejected Jane and I think that she'd probably want answers today after they've both cooled down and probably had time to think about it. She looks like she's feeling pretty optimistic, which is nice. So I'm not really sure how today's gonna go, but we can hope for the best. So the venue I created was a outdoor cinema bohemian build, which I will be showing you in a little bit, but I will be doing a speed build of it maybe tomorrow or the next day. So if you want to see that, then you can go and do that if you want to. What would Pilar do on the weekends? That is a very good question because she doesn't really work a lot. I mean, it doesn't really feel like Pilar works at all. And I know that it's only part six, but honestly, it feels as if Pilar's only worked one day and then she's just got a promotion the day that she's gone in. I'm not sure who her boss is, but I don't know. Somebody that obviously likes Pilar a lot, probably Arthur Angel now I think about it. He would probably be Pilar's boss. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Maybe Pilar would invite Dylan round. Um, no, actually. I don't know. Would she invite him to go and meet her family? I think that she would probably ask on date. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I do actually want them all to sit down as a family though. Maybe we'll do that first. In fact, maybe Pilar would invite Dylan round in the morning and she'd say, you know, we had such fantastic Valentine's Day outing that maybe you could come and meet the family and the two kids. She'd probably warn them both, so I don't know. Share a secret. <laughs> That's what she'd be sharing, probably. I mean, Jane's in the bath, so she probably wouldn't go and disturb Jane. But I think that that's probably the best thing that she could possibly do, and that would be interesting for them all to meet him because they haven't met him yet, and I think that because Pilar's getting pretty close with Dylan, it would make a lot of sense if she did go and tell the kids about what was happening, so... Not sure how Scarlett would take it. She'd probably put it in a really nice way though. She'd say, oh, do you wanna hear a secret? I've got a friend coming around later. So, I don't know, something like that. She wouldn't really tell Scarlett too many details. But I don't know. I don't know if the kids would try and get on with Dylan. I mean, I don't want this to be horrible to him or anything because I think that it would be nice if at least Scarlett was happy. Maybe Jane wouldn't be so happy if he came round because Jane is still hoping for the father to come back. Let's not forget about the father. A lot of people have asked what's happened to the father. 
I can't really say yet. I mean, maybe he will turn up eventually in the next couple of parts. I mean, it's quite nice that they are moving on with their lives and wouldn't it just be a shame if somebody was to turn up and ruin the whole thing? I mean, as it's just going so, so swimmingly at the moment. I think I want to get Scarlet to join a group now that I think about it. Maybe she would join the League of Adventurers and she can just join straight away, which is so nice because it's a weekend. I think that Scarlet would want to meet them and she'd want to see her friends and stuff, which is really lovely. Let's get them over. So, oh, that was really, really quick. That is something that I do love about the loading screens and I hate to say but one positive is you don't actually have to wait for the sims to leave their house and get the car to your house. They're instantly here which is the only plus I can think of right now if I'm being honest. <laughs> but I still like it and she's got some, oh she's got two friends. That's lovely. I think one of them left because the family actually left the neighbourhood for some strange reason. Max is a little bit of an odd character, but I would actually like Scarlett to play with Max yeah. and play together. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, there's so much detail gone into this as well. I love these monkey bars. I absolutely love them. I could never do it myself. I always used to fall and I've got really, really thin wrists as well. I don't know if that was anything to do with it, but oh, it was just the worst thing. It was so much of a struggle to try and get me on the monkey bars. I had to have my granddad lifting me up. No, it was just the worst thing ever. So <laughs> wasn't very good, but let me know if you ever used to go on the monkey bars when you're a child. So what are they doing upstairs? I was probably just eating their breakfast. Pilar's probably just trying to drop it into the conversation that Dylan is going to be coming over. I want him to come over. Ask on date. We've already asked him, haven't we? I thought we did ask him already. I love this time though, because at this time the house just looks its best. And I just, I love it like this. I really do. I love the lighting at lunchtime. Where would Pilar go? Why can't they just go back to the house? Would that not make any sense? Oh, okay, they're having a date at the house, which is a little bit awkward because Scarlett has just had a club gathering. So that is a little bit strange. <laughs> but I think that Scarlett would be just very, very occupied with her new friends and wanting to play in the closets and things, or I call them the wardrobes. <laughs> what is he doing? He's not that tall. He is definitely not that tall. How is he doing that? That's really odd. So the date started and we have to, we actually have to go and greet Dylan. Oh no, Pilar's a bit occupied now. Should she still go to work? No, she takes some paid time off. I mean, come on, it's Saturday and we, we've just worked our socks off. And does Pilar ever work? No, no, she doesn't. Right, this is something I want to address before he comes upstairs. I actually want to dress him. So actions actions how do i do it i found it the other day ask to see outfits every day because i really want to change his current outfit that's what i want to do so i think that that would really help everybody out because <laughs> there's been quite a lot of complaints about his outfit and i get it i completely get it but i want to how do we do it is that his <laughs> That is his day wear. That's not even his sleepwear or swimwear or anything. How do I get his clothes to change? I think I'm just going to have to quickly jump in to create a sim with Dylan and then I'm going to come back in a second. Okay, so we are back with Dylan Sanders. He is currently picking up a plate right now, but he looks completely different. So I put him in black and grey because I thought that they were really lovely colours for him to wear and I thought that they really, really suited him. So I'm pretty happy with him, to be honest. And I think that I probably will change his outfits at some point. I mean, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what happens. Want Pilar to give him a heartfelt compliment and maybe share some photos. And then I want her to tidy up a little bit. Where did that maid ever get to? I'm not sure. They're good friends though. That's really good. That is fantastic. They are not just friends. They are definitely not just friends. Oh, she's feeling uncomfortable. From illness? How did you get ill? I can't believe she's ill. She was definitely not ill before, but I still wanted to carry on playing and also making friends with the new people in her group because she doesn't really know them yet. And I think that it would be really lovely if she did get to know them. So we will do that. I want Scarlett to be very close with them, even though she does have chicken pox right now. I don't know how to cure that. I'm not sure. I think just sleep should be fine 
for Scarlett. <laughs> but I don't think that Pilar would really want to leave Scarlett, I mean, on her own today, so maybe she wouldn't. So now that Dylan's here, I think that Jane, before she goes out, she would want to probably give a rude introduction to him because she is still hoping that her father will come back probably more than anybody right now because Pilar is trying to move on with her life, but I think that Jane is a little bit selfish and I think that she doesn't really understand that Pilar would like happiness and she would like to meet new friends and things, so not good so she doesn't really like him doesn't really like dylan silence at all she doesn't want to get to know him or anything and she's probably going to complain to her mum now <laughs> she's probably saying well mum i don't like this man in the house can he leave please oh, they're, they're okay together so pilar is fine with jane she's just she's just being laid back about the whole thing so what is Scarlett doing? So maybe Scarlett would go upstairs and talk to Max and then we can go and invite people to this new place where I want Jane to go and visit. So that should be pretty fun. I don't know why the blonde girl is the leader of this group. I never thought that she was. I always thought it was Max. But he's the leader of the Renegades, which is a very interesting group. But he's a bit of a punky kid. He looks like he'd be Dylan Sanders' child. I think so. I don't know. He looks like the father of Max. I don't even know who Max's parents are, but I don't know. Maybe he's an orphan, which would be so sad. I don't know who his parents are. I'll have to find out at some point. Villarreal. Villarreal? I don't know. Probably villains. I'm not sure. So now that everything's pretty much settled in here, Jane's not really talking to Dylan. Dylan's on this computer because everybody always uses this computer. I have no idea why. She's annoyed that her mum's invited someone around and it's not her father and she misses her dad. It's making her feel a little bit upset. She would go out. She would want to travel. Even though this date's not finished, Pilar would probably have to end it early. Date unsuccessful. Oh dear. So Jane's going to travel and she's going to take Jessica Mortray with her, Courtney Tomlin, Miles Westfall, ooh, <laughs> Braxton Spears, Tommy Davoli, uh, let's see, Joe Davoli, Toby Anderson, Blondie Slack, no, she wouldn't be there, Tasman Kingsley. Why can't we invite that many? No. Why? Oh my gosh. Maybe we wouldn't have to invite Miles then, which is really, really sad but nobody else really knows him, then we're just going to have to go with this group. Which would make sense because after Miles was flirting a little bit with Jane in the last part, maybe Jane wouldn't want Miles there because she would want to find out what's going on with Tommy before anything else. I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to go to the build now. I had to put it as a generic plot which wasn't amazing but I don't think that we have the cinema option and I just thought that that was probably the easiest and it probably guarantees me the most that a lots of unwanted sims are not going to turn up so okay we've got most of the group here so that's a start <laughs> Jessica more Trey and Tasman Kingsley probably don't get on very well but still we're friends with Jessica we're getting to know Tasman I wanted to become friends with Tasman so we'll see we shall see, but when she becomes friends with Tasman, that is when she can really, I suppose, have a chance at joining the fakes. So maybe that will happen in the next couple of parts. Maybe she would do that. But I also want her to speak to Jessica because I want her to be able to actually invite Jessica over and maybe they would perhaps move in together. Well, Jessica would move in with Pilar or something. It could happen. It could actually happen. Nice little gathering going on in here, which is lovely. Jessica and Joel. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if they have a thing together, but that would be such an amazing thing because they look so cute together. They really do. But this is the venue. So just to full screen it a little bit and you can see it. I mean, it's not the best time to see it because it's 3.50 p.m. It's not gonna look fantastic at this time, but maybe I want Jane to make a wish. Oh. She might wish for romance. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's see what happens. She's talking to all the girls here, which is nice. And maybe Jessica wouldn't hate Tasman that much. I don't know. I don't know. But there's different areas for different things. So we've got a little music place. We've got a place that they can watch films and things. So it's quite nice. 
Oh my gosh, I hope it happens. I absolutely hope it happens because this would be amazing if it did. Oh. Is it Tommy? Nothing sets the tone for romance like a little flirting. Well, that's what Jane is waking for. Go and paint the town red. Okay. <laughs> well, that didn't really help. That just made us flirty. Well, made Jane flirty. Tommy's here, so we could compliment his appearance. Is it going to be really awkward in front of Tasman, though? Because I know that those two have a thing. I really hope that it's not going to be awkward. Okay. He's okay with that. Well, maybe we can actually ask him what was up last night. What happened? I don't know. I mean, he was asking about his love life. Yes, because she'd actually say, look, do you have a thing with Tasman? Or were you just being really off with me last night? What is it about? And he's probably just explaining, actually, I don't really have that much of a thing with Tasman anymore. We broke it off, so we don't really have anything. We're just friends, so Tasman should be fine. With me seeing you or something. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in this part. But maybe she would flirt with him. Maybe she would want to uh, compliment his appearance again. Ask if single, yes. Ask him if he's single, because that is the step that we really want to know. <laughs> okay, Tommy is now officially single. Or is he? Oh my gosh, this is really awkward. <laughs> she's just standing behind Tommy. I don't know if she's going to be really off with us or anything. I don't know if it's going to be an argument that's going to kick off in a minute. I don't know. But if Tasman's found somebody else, then that's fantastic. But I know that Tasman and Tommy definitely had a thing because they were really, really high on the romance meter when I left those two when I was starting up this LP. I like how Tasman is trying to distract Tommy. <laughs> It's like they're fighting for his attention or something. Reveal crush. Okay. If we reveal our crush again for Tommy, maybe. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, dear. This is nerve-wracking. I feel really bad for Jane. He seems to be talking about it. But all the lights have just come on, so that's quite nice. Um, Bromance. First kiss. We can try. We can try. We tried this before and he heavily, heavily rejected Jane. They have now kissed. He's okay with us. He's fine with us. That's nice though. And now she's very, very flirty. He's just very happy, which is lovely. Invite to stay the night. Maybe they'd be staying the night anyway, I think. This is nice though, because now that they are maybe a thing, I don't know. I love birds. A sleepover sounds great. Fantastic. Well, would she ask to be boyfriend? Is that really soon? That's too soon. That is way too soon. I actually just want her to chill out with a friend now at this lovely cinema. I think that it's just such a handy venue to have. So I am going to put it on the Sims 4 gallery if you want to go and download it yourselves. But they're all watching a film at the moment, which is so cute. I love how they've all tried to couple off a little bit. And I love how Joel's just sat next to Jessica. Oh my gosh. They look so, so nice together though. I really hope that they have a thing at some point. I do want Jane to go over to Jessica and maybe give her some relationship advice. And um, I don't know if it would be awkward because Joel Divoli is Tommy's brother. They're the same age, but I think I've explained this before. But in case you're not following the storyline with the Devolis, Tommy's mum had an affair with Joel's father and... The boys were born at the same time, just with different mums. So it's a little bit of an interesting backstory on what happened there. But hopefully we'll go around to the Voli's house and we will actually get to see them and see what the family life is like there. I really hope that I'll be able to play with the Voli's at some point because I think that it's really interesting. Okay, so even though Jane does need to do some of the things over here, she needs to go to the toilet and she also needs some food. I want her to become very very good friends with Jessica because I actually want her to get Jessica to move in with them because I think that now they're very good friends Jane is quite a caring person and she would really really feel like she feels terrible that Jessica Mortray is living in an absolute pigsty I mean it's a shack in the middle of the woods somewhere so I think that she would and I think that that is really where I would like this whole thing to go I'd like Jessica to move in with them maybe they'd be a family of four 
and I don't know, we'll see what happens from there. But I don't know if she can just yet. I want her to just be a bit closer though. Maybe if they were best friends, then maybe they could do that. But I like how Jessica is trying to get on with the others as well because Tasman and Courtney are here. They're actually not being that offensive. They're not being as offensive as I thought they would be because they are quite mean girls. But hey, we shall see. We shall see what happens. Maybe Jane could... I keep going... I keep seeing what else there is, but there's nothing else here. Ask about Day. I really do want her to become friends with Jessica though, so I do want to speed it up a little bit, maybe. Just a little. Maybe just a tad. Where's Tommy gone? Oh, okay, Jane really needs a toilet. If she she wets herself in front of everyone, that is going to be so embarrassing. So where can she go? Fertilize. That's brilliant. I hope no one's already in that bush. I hope that no one's using it already. I mean, I don't know how you know. Maybe it just, I don't know. Maybe it just shakes when someone's using it. Has Tommy gone home already? Because... Oh no, he's, he's over there sleeping. I think that Jane before, I think she was trying to get the other bench to sleep next to him. I don't know if she was though. That would be really, really weird. That's just, that's just so strange. Okay, so she's fertilizing the bush. Oh, I hope they're not spying on her. That's mean. That is really mean, you two. Go away. So I think that what I'll do is leave the episode here. And in the next part, I want to try and get Jessica more Trey to move in with the pomegranates and we can be a family of four and we'll see how that goes. But I really hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to hear your ideas if you have any for future episodes and I will speak to you all in the next part.